Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in Mombazoo, and um, in the last episode we just quickly dropped off our um, Basil. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to give some tips, and I just thought of another one. So um, yeah, me and Soup Wizard, both at the same time, realised that if you get one of these spare seats um, for the Koenig, you can put it wherever you want and then that was ridiculous I didn't do that on purpose you can put it wherever you want and then if you get too tired you can um, use it to skip some time so you can actually sleep in the back of the beamer so I've got one here and um, I think there's one at the junkyard as well so yeah we could sleep if we want but we've got Leo in the car so I'm not going to do that but yeah when you're in the beamer you can literally just look back and sleep so that's really convenient um because obviously energy is a thing on here and if you have too much coffee your anxiety goes right up so um yeah it's good to have a few of them dotted around or was it the pillows that we both came up with at the same time i basically i pre-recorded a few episodes and then it would have looked like I was trying to steal Soup's idea. It might have been the pillows made out of um, French fry bags. Um, okay, so I haven't shown this little farm shop yet. Um, there it is. There's nothing in it. It's shut. But yeah, that's where you can get potatoes. So for free, you get a potato and then you can plant that. And then every so often when you harvest, you'll get two potato seeds but you'll always get at least one so you can always keep yeah adding to your collection and you can also get the cheese curds as well i said before years ago i used to so when i was a doorman i used to be driving back home between I don't know, three four in the morning or whatever and there was this certain road where all the rabbits were, all the rabbits in the world and every night they tried to kill me I'd be swerving all over the road and trying to avoid them right okay so we're back home and we're doing alright money wise I put the um, put the neons on as well so with the neons let's quickly show these so you can change the colour of them that's weird. Oh, it's reflecting. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's my favourite one, number six. No, it's not, number seven. Um, And you can make it brighter or dimmer. And you can make it so that it's uh, inside, outside, them that and so on so yeah it's um pretty cool you can't change a color separately though okay right so that's that all done handbrakes down there johnny well done demonstrating a game that you don't even know right yeah never played it um okay so we do need some maple syrup and i bet this needs harvesting again no that's all good right let's make some more of that um and um, when I was playing it last time, I had a row of potatoes, and I quite like that because it means that you can always keep up with the fertilizer, and um, yeah, you don't have to worry too much. And obviously, we need a constant supply of poutine as well. Um, so yeah, we'll take one of these up. When you're moving it backwards and forwards, just drop one in there through the wall, because otherwise you'll infuriate yourself. So. Yeah, leave it like that when you're bringing them up to take and sell. Okay, right, that's that done. So we only need maple syrup. We'll just have one of these. We don't really need the bottles anymore. And let's sleep. Okay, that might mean... That the garage is done. Have a look. Right, so we've got a lovely garage now. Right, so...
perfect absolutely perfect so there we go right we can weigh ourselves as well so what do you reckon it's going to be okay um pop the lights on so we've got an outside floodlight it is a little bit too bright if i'm honest and um yeah interior as well got a creeper board so we can jump on this and my goodness does this help a lot because you can get under the car and um yeah sort stuff out uh okay tire rack well wheel rack and then just normal racks radio again um i've tried so many times to weigh leo but i just can't get him to go on there but i really do hope that it doesn't say fat right so let's um get these up here or am i putting these on i do miss my olive green truck You can snap to grid to make it easier, popping things like this up. I'm just trying to think how you unlock the compressor. Don't worry about telling me in the chat. It will come back to me. But you can also get a compressor in here. I think we need to improve our relationship with Francis some more. No, maybe not. It might actually be one of the boy racers. Yeah, it might be one of these. That's right, they will get there. Okay. Um. Right, so I'll do the rest of that off camera because it's a bit boring and it just watching me put stuff down. Um. So it snaps a grid at the moment. If you want it right up against the wall, you can just turn that off. And yeah just like move around and then when it's somewhere that you want it obviously that's not straight you can lock it into place so if i hit this with a car now it's not going anywhere it will stay exactly where i want it so that's really really useful with my driving you can't walk the um trailer around by hand unfortunately right um let's go see how this is getting on see if there's any difference in them trees yet I think I'm going to throw the heavy duty suspension on the truck and show the um, shortcut. Right, 28%, 33, 37. Is it mocking me or something? It is, isn't it? No, there we go. So 4% higher. So it's not amazingly faster, but it's a little bit. Okay. Oh. Right, so 62% getting there. And that's burning away, so... That'll be good. Right, let's uh, go get the buggy back. Because we don't need the fuel can up here anymore. I only needed to bring that up there to um, chop wood. But we've done all that, so... Yeah, might as well put it to use. Right, I'll see you over there in a second. Okay, so it's usually a potato when I've messed up. Usually pick a potato up from that little farm shop. Right, so right click on that. And then get the fuel. There's only one fuel on here, so just petrol. And we can tip that in there. Yeah, so this hasn't got a fuel gauge. You just have to look on the side of it and not be an idiot. Okay. Right, so that's that done. It's got a little storage thing here as well. So you can put a little bit there. And if you're struggling to fit something in, what you can do is just hold it. So we're still holding on to it so that's really useful if um yeah like you've dropped a pot or something or a barrel you can just grab it and then hold it off and you can still go into third person view yeah this hasn't got a tow bar my goodness okay perfect How 
How was I in sixth? <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. Um, here. And just over in this corner there, that, them two things, that's um, just spare potato seed and basil. Because I did lose them before, unfortunately. The seeds and had to start all over again. And my goodness, that was tragic. I dropped them through the floor by accident. It was my fault. But yeah, the game kind of bugged out and they just disappeared forever. Um, right. Richard, how you doing, mate? All right. So if Richard sees you by the side of the road, he's a lovely bloke. He will stop and, um, yeah, pick you up. So really handy. Sorry, Richard. I don't actually need anything. Leo, come on, mate. Yeah, so really, really handy. So it doesn't have to be outside your house. And it's about nine o'clock every single day that he comes here. Right. Hmm. Do we lift it? Where even is all our stuff for it around here? Snorkel. Oh, you know where the wrench is. Um, there's not another one in here, is there? Oh yeah, you can change tyre pressure as well. No, I don't think there is. I think we lost one here. I think it got tarmacked or yeah, tarmacked over. Bugger it. Okay. Um, you can't have the roll bar on at the same time as the maple syrup container unfortunately oh god I'm gonna have to go up there aren't I yeah let's go up and get out back in a second okay so we just got the other um <clears throat> 30 grand from what we dropped off in the last episode that they couldn't take I've got the uh, spanner so if you want to like for realism you can jack the truck up <clears throat> Sorry, everyone, I wasn't ready to uh, start recording again. Yeah, you can jack this up, um, but you don't have to do this. And if you want to just quickly change the suspension, there's one bolt there. So I know where the bolts are because I've done so many hours on this game. But yeah, there and there. So this is a leaf spring. And then if we go over here and press remove, so yeah, I've got the eight inch drop on the front and then the 12 inch drop on the back, I think. And then it'll go in there, pop them back in. If you don't do the bolts up properly, so 100% or you miss one, the part will just fall off. And I'm sure so many people thought it was staged, but I was always bloody doing it. I was always missing something. Um, sorry, Leo. That's a really awkward thing to lay on me. Right, so let's um get this side done, and then I'll do the other side off camera. Yeah, you can paint the interior as well. Um, so that's the thing. Yeah, so... Oh, okay, so 8-inch drop at the front, 4-inch at the rear. I find it just um, levels out perfect. Oh, and the spacers. Well, we've got wheel spacers, and Borkild told me um, what dimensions. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to... No, it's not going to give me a measurement. But yeah, it keeps them flush within... The arch, which is uh, perfect. Right. That. That. Okay. So it doesn't have to be up on the <clears throat> axle stands. So let's take these out. And yeah, so this side, 8 inch, 4 inch. And this side, heavy duty. 
Okay, back in just a moment. Right, so that's both sides done now. It doesn't look level, does it? But I'm sure they're all the same springs. But yeah, um, so the creeper board is great. You can't take it in the house, unfortunately. <laughs> so when I lost the um, basil seeds before, I was thinking maybe if I went in with a creeper board, I'd be able to uh, get to it. So yeah, you can only do underneath this truck, you can only do leaf springs and yeah, breaks. Um, but under the Koenigs, you can do so much. So let's quickly shoot under this one. Actually, no, let's do the other one because it's more colourful and easier to see. Right, so you can do suspension components. You can do all this. And my goodness, if you uh, you mess it up by accident, you're screwed. Diff. All that. All that. Exhaust, obviously. All this. It's, yeah, quite something. Intercooler. Oh, hello, Leo. Um, I'll leave that there for now. I'll move that off camera. So, yeah, that's, um, that's that. So, let's quickly have some more maple syrup and poutine. And then I'll show you the cottage. Have we got time? Yep, I'll show you the cottage and the shortcut. Right, Leo, he coming with. So, the snorkel doesn't need bolting in. So the snorkel just sits on there, and that's it. Okay. I will put the bumpers on and stuff as well. I'll make this look 4x4 again. Like, I'll make it look how it should. Okay. Um. Okay, it'll probably be easier me going this way, actually. Yeah, it looks easy, doesn't it? Okay, right, Leo, don't worry, mate. You'll be fine. So that's our little dock there as well. Okay, so as you can see, we can drive on this without problem. So let's get some speed up over a second. <clears throat> you can't drive through all the bits of water. But, yeah, if you really wanted to, you could go to town this way. Uh, right, now let's try and figure out where I need to go. I need to go over this way. So, this is the way I walk if I have to walk from home to town. <clears throat> Obviously, you've got to watch your anxiety if you're in hard mode. It's so all this jump and everything, that's not doing it any good. Okay. Right. I'll quickly show the cheese curd. So this is the little stool. So, um, help yourself. That's the opening and closing times. So we'll get some of this. I pressed the wrong button. We'll get some of this because, um, yeah, it might as well. And that. We don't need the potato. Okay. I should really be getting some pipes and stuff, some tubing, but what I'll probably do is um, do some off-camera where I'm planting stuff. Right, so stop there for a second. Didn't mean to do that. So I've got Leo a little water bowl over there outside the Mel's, and I fill it up by just running down this road and, um, yeah, using seawater. Leo doesn't mind a bit of seawater. Right. So we're in... 
full, I think. I can't remember which way. Yeah, we're in full. And I can't remember whether we can get up this bit either. No, I think it's too steep. So I own that little cottage there. It's five grand, I think. But yeah, as you can see, you can cut straight across the water there. And you can come up here. And where this is our land, we can plant trees and stuff. So if we wanted to, we could plant trees over here, wait for them to grow, and then we can cut straight across the water and then go and sell the logs in this place there. So there's two places you can sell wood there and your next door neighbour at home, your brother. Um, yeah, so let's quickly show you this. How much fuel have we got? Plenty. Yeah, so there's not really much here, but you can make fertiliser, so it's a smaller thing than t'other. And you can also have the stove on if you want, if you're cold. And sleep. Look at a picture, even though you've got that view. And yeah, you can't do anything here. I've tried digging with the spade and things like that. You can't get through. Not at the moment, anyway. Right. So we'll close that up. Close that. And... Right, so let me show you this bit of the road now, because we haven't been in this direction. So we'll go to the junkyard. Right, I'm going to go into this view because it's find it a bit easier rather than using the mouse. I'm a bit of a snob now with that free face tracking. So I don't really like looking around with uh, the mouse and to put effort in. Okay. Yeah, so obviously if you Google Mombazoo map, um, you'll get a good one. There is a map on the game, but it's not very good, if I'm honest. Um, let's quickly jump out. There you go. So we have to unlock this base. Okay, so this is the map. So we're top right where it's three words and the last one's jacks. And the other circle, the big circle next to it on the, well, left of it is um, where we just were. So the cottage. Okay. Right, so this is a junkyard. You can find some alloys here when you first start the game. You can also change your tyres. The bed is there so that I can sleep if I need to. Bumper. The demolition derby car is there. And you can go round and find radio. So these radios sell for quite a lot of money on... F I can't remember what days... Yeah, I can't remember what days, but you can sell them for about $110 a pot or something. Um, so early game, this place is a really good place to come. So we've got three more storage bays here, and I think one of them's got a pit. This is just excess from where I built the scrap Koenig up, which was in this one. Yeah, so there's a pit here, another magnet tray um and yeah let's put these in there so that it's less because i think that means one asset le less now um okay so that's that um there might be some other stuff that i've missed bumper you can get from here for the koenig you can't do anything with this one, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to do these cars up and um, and sell them. 
anyway right so that that's that um you can sell scrap metal here so if you've done a load of uh <laughs> right so i think that's the welded diff in there but if you've done a load of um barrels and then got the huge tank the maple syrup you can bring the barrels down here and then sell them so you don't get much for them but it's better than just having them dotted around hello leo yeah so this is the scrap yard and i think that's probably where the uh next oh no maybe not the next car's probably going to be at the racetrack isn't it um, the road's really dangerous around here, so there's some, yeah, really horrific bumps. So if you're going too fast, you're probably going to die. And one more thing before I forget. If you like drifting on this game, the old truck really is good with drifting um, until you upgrade the road. So then paved roads that I've got we pay quite a lot of money for them um 80 grand 60 grand 20 grand I think something like that um you can't drift anymore so uh yeah keep that in mind if I wasn't playing this um on YouTube and wasn't trying to do a like competition thing a chat like there's one of the bumps a challenge on my second go i wouldn't have upgraded it because the old truck is actually quite fun to drift around i mean you can see it a little bit here drifting but then when we get onto the main road obviously it's just solid isn't it so it's not going anywhere but yeah have i missed anything neo i've probably missed loads With the cottage, you get a spare um, fuel can as well, um, which is 10 litres. Your fuel can back at home is 20 that you get standard. Okay, I really don't know what happened then, but we'll take it. Um, probably not going to be using the trailer for a while, so I should probably move that. I wish that you could do it by hand, I really do. I'm going to just try and get in front of it a little bit. Easier said than done. There we go. Just like real life. Oh, come on now. Okay. Right, that'll do. We'll be able to pull it from there. So you can move it just a little bit. Okay, so that's connected now. Um, Leo, hold on to your knickers, mate. Uh, I don't think we're going to make this. Uh, so let's just back it out. I can't remember whether anything's on the road. <laughs> Okay, that'll do. And let's go and shove this in the garage. And then we know where it is and know to never open the garage door again. Right, handbrake on. Get the door open. What's left in it now? A bit of maple syrup and coffee. We'll leave that in there. Why not? Okay break off and let's lock it away never let it see the light of day again I hate little trailers I really do okay unhook that sorry Leo all over the place Okay.
Right. Be gone. Perfect. Yeah, so that's made the driveway a little bit more free now. What do you reckon, Neo? You've got lovely lies. Lies? Lovely eyes, mate. Okay, and that'll do. Right, out you jump, mate. Nope. Oh. Okay, so the cheese curd, we can just flop into this. So 150 up to 200, so you get 50. Uh, go. We don't need this many, but I thought we were there, so we might as well get some. 81%. That's all doing all right. Yeah, and my goodness, where am I? That's the bath. It's a funny game, it really is. I do hope that police are in, in the future. And, um, yeah, maybe you have to, uh, lock this up and everything. I don't know. Something like that. I'd love that kind of thing to be in. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much everything for this episode. Yeah, so I'll leave it there. So thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every you. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me and Leo in the next one. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.